Wait, is that a seahorse? Nope, look closer. That's actually a map of Japan. And in today's video, I'll show you how to bring it to life with a simple map animation, which can be perfect for your next documentary style edit. Let's jump in. First, move your playhead to the beginning of the timeline. With the map selected, head over to the effect controls panel. Click that stopwatch next to scale. That's our first animation keyframe. We'll do the same for opacity. Start it off at 100%. Now move those keyframes a few frames forward. Here's where the magic begins. Bump up the scale to zoom in and drop the opacity down to zero to create a clean fade in effect. Slide that opacity keyframe forward just a bit for a nice delay. To give it that smooth, professional motion, select all your keyframes and set them to ease out and ease in. Pro tip, then drag the handle on that final scale keyframe to the left to finesse the motion curve. And this is what you'll end up with. Let's spice things up. Drag and drop the flag onto the timeline above the map. Then layer your ink drop overlay on top of that. Now for the transition magic, select the Japan flag, go to the effects panel and search for track matte key. You can double click to apply it. In the effect controls, set the matte option to video three. That's where the overlay lives. Then set composite option to matte luma and don't forget to check the reverse box. Want that animation to last a bit longer? Let's extend the map. Hold Alt or Option key, drag the overlay to duplicate it, and place it on Video Track 4, then duplicate the Japan map to Track 5. Just make sure to trim off any extra. Now, copy the Track Map key from the flag and paste it onto the duplicated map. Update the matte option to video 5, but maybe you want the map to show up in black instead of white. Simple fix, add the invert effect to the map. But wait, something looks off, right? That's because applying track matte key and adjusting properties like scale on the same layer can conflict. The solution, nest the map layer first, then apply the track matte key to the nested sequence. And just like that, problem solved. To really sell the effect, don't forget to layer in some subtle sound effects and background music. It's these little things that make your animation feel cinematic. And there you go, a clean, stylish map animation ready for your next project. You can also add text as well. If this helped you out, I guarantee you'll love the tutorials I've got linked right here on the screen. Go check them out and keep creating.